Have you ever been in a coaching session? Or maybe you wondered how a coaching session works? Well, today what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to explain how I operate, but also how many coaches operate. And every coach has their own little system, but I'm really going to try to show you and take the myth out of what goes on in these things. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher turned online coach. And for a reason, I was very good at it. I'm very good at reverse engineering something so I can look at where somebody wants to go and I can set things up and put them in place and give somebody a strategy on how to get there. Well, today what I want to do is I want to talk to you about how a coaching session works. If you're coaching with me and many people, I'm, I'm going to be really generic. I, when I go on a coaching call with people, I actually have a folder where I have a list of questions because what I want to do is get comfortable, but I want to hear them tell me what's going on. Um, so typically a, a coaching session just starts out where we're going to make some small talk, especially if it's the first time I want to get to know them. Um, and then I have a series of questions I go through with them. And they change. Um, and I, I've learned different questions from different coaches. And if you're thinking of becoming a coach, I would go through some training. In fact, I do have a training program you can use where I give you a set of questions. Um, but the first thing is, my first question is, well, as we get in the session, well, what do you want to achieve? Or what are your goals? What are you looking at to accomplish? Because I want to hear what they want to try to do. And it could be in life, it could be a relationship, it could be losing weight, it could be building a business, it could be whatever, but I want to hear it. Now, what I do is when I ask that question, what I do is I write down everything they say. And usually keywords, because what I want to do is I want to hear what they're saying, but I want to be able to talk that back to them. So after they tell me what they want to do, you know, what do they want to achieve, I repeat their words. So you want to lose 20 pounds in 60 days, right? And, and you want to get a hold of your diet. You want to change into eating clean. You want to get a, a, a menu system. You know, I'm just making these up on the go. But it, I'm going to repeat back what they told me. Then my next question is, okay, well, that is really cool. What happens if you achieve it? And I want to hear, man, if I lose 20 pounds in the next 60 days, I am going to look so good in my Speedo. <laughs> I don't wear <a> Speedo. <laughs> I'll feel more comfortable on the beach. I'll feel more comfortable in front of my friends. You know, again, I want them to kind of repeat, and I'm going to try to, continue to ask questions to bring that out. Now, the best thing that what a coach is do, going to do is be a, a really great listener. Okay. And then what you want to do is as a coach is, and all coaches do this is really be proud of what the people are doing and kind of su not suggest, but tell them they believe you can do it because you want to give people that confidence that what they're trying to do is achievable. Now, so the first one was, what are you trying to achieve? What happens when you achieve it? Now, the next one is, well, what are you going to try to avoid when you're doing this? Well, typically, if I lose weight, I lose, I go on a diet for five days, and then all of a sudden I start eating all the bad food again, or I don't want to put the weight back on. You know, you want to hear the negatives. And to tell you the truth, this is probably the most important. Um... Now, so after hearing that, I'm writing this all down. And I repeat to them what they've told me. So what happens if you avoid it? Well, if I don't go on these yo-yo diets where I lose 20 and then gain 20 and lose 10 and gain 20, it's just going to make me feel so much better. I'm going to have more energy. I'm going to look better. My Speedo, again, I don't wear a Speedo, will look better. <laughs> and then the next thing is, is we, we talk this. We talk it through, and I'm finally going to say, well, well, what's your next step? See, the key is a coach. I'm not a counselor. I'm not going to do it for them. What I want to do is when I'm working with people, I want them to tell me their game plan. Now, I can fine-tune it with them and help them out, 
but I'm not going to do it for them. So what's your next step? Or what's your first step? And I listen to them and I write it down. And then I get ready for the next one. I'm just going to say, can you see if you achieve losing 20 pounds? And I go through what they've told me. 20 pounds in 90 days without going back up in this yo-yo diet and getting on organic food and getting in the perfect menu. And again, I'm making these things up. Um, can you see if you by doing this and avoiding this that it's actually going to happen for you? What is your first step going to be? All right, it's like I'm asking again. What's your first step in going on this diet? Could be writing down menus, could be buying different groceries, could be mindset, could be whatever, right? And then the next one, when will you going to do it? See what I'm doing? I'm trying to hold them accountable. And I usually ask if I can hold them accountable. Now, I can do this in a coaching call, a group coaching call. I can do it one-on-one. -on -one. Usually this is done one-on-one. -on -one. It's just a, a very simple, easy way to keep a conversation going. Now, again, my role of a coach is to listen, to tell them I believe they can do it, give them confidence, and to keep asking questions to really kind of see where they're going at. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in the coaching program. I have been. A couple of them, to tell you the truth. Uh, I, I had a coach find out something that was in my past that was bugging me that I didn't even know was there. But boy, has it held me back and it has it helped me go forward. I'm in a coaching program right now that is one of the most best coaching programs I've ever been. It's just an outstanding coaching program. Hey, if you want to, just have a free call. Talk. Let me ask you some questions. Give you a strategy. See, I didn't even talk about business coaching because that's a little different. And I do business coaching where we sit down and give, talk about systems and strategies and set game plans up. I have different programs for different people. But if you would just like to have a clarity call, it's free. Right? We sit and talk and kind of, I'll ask you those questions and see if I can help you out and where you're going. All you have to do is go to marknelsononline.com forward slash call. marknelsononline.com forward slash call. You're going to go to a page that has a calendar on it. You select your time. If you can't find a time and date, just send me an email. I left my email on there. Send me an email and we'll find something for you. So there you have it. Glad you're here. If you're watching this on YouTube, Hit that subscribe button and the notifications if you're hearing this on my podcast. Give me a five-star review. I'd oh, give you a review. I'd love it if you give, give me a review. But share this with your friends, please. Hey, y'all take care. I appreciate talking to you. I appreciate you listening to this. Y'all take care. Bye.